my electrodes are in my van. There's little bags of electrodes mm -hmm. in there. Um, can you grab me a bag? It says AFG. These electrodes need to be replaced. The gap was uh, way too big um, or wide, so there's no way. I mean, I could have tweaked these in, but these are already showing a lot of wear, so we'll just replace them. And then this is an AFG Beckett burner. So this is a, a nozzle, um, excuse me, an electrode kit for a Beckett burner model AFG, the AF, SF, SR. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in and then I have to cut the length of this rod here. That's why I'm keeping these electrodes out. I didn't throw them away yet because I need to make sure that we have the same length on the back end of the electrode so that the transformer uh, connections can touch that. And I could go ahead and... Uh, and use the other connection. So I can take these off here and just install them on the new one because it's the exact same. Instead of having to cut those and go through that much trouble. I'm going to put the electrodes in. It doesn't matter what side they go in. For right now, I just got to get them started. So I just slide them in. Doesn't matter where they're sitting. I just want to get some tension on this nut. That way, when I move them, I can still move it, but it doesn't move on their own. And then I can get them in position where I want them before I tighten it down. So I'm not sure if you can see that very well. So what I need to do is verify what head that I have on this burner. And then if I have an F or an L1 or a V1 head, then I would use these settings. 5 30 seconds gap. And then above center would be 5 16 And then between the head and the nozzle tip would be 1 16th. So let's see what I have. <laughs> The way and where I'm going to find that is on the bottom of this manufacturer's sticker right here. It'll tell me what burner head is inside the burner. And this one doesn't have it, so. So, because it doesn't have it on the manufacturer's sticker there. What I need to do is look at the actual head that's down inside. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it very well. It's way down inside of there. And what I need to do now is um, compare that to a chart that shows me uh, different um, heads. Let's see if I can find it for you. This is an example of a V1 head. It's mounted on the end of the nozzle tip. And an L1 and an L2 head is also mounted at the end of the nozzle tip. So it would be located, attached right here. And in our case, this head is mounted at the end of the blast tube, so we know we have an F head. So, an F head, an F head uses this setting at the top here and that's the gap settings that I'm going to use so
So. The first measurement, the first measurement that I like to set is how far out in front of the nozzle that the electrodes have to be, and that's going to be 1 16th. So I use my little ruler and I measure 1 16th, and I need to come back just a smidge. Okay. So I'll show you another trick too. I like to set one electrode and then I like to match it with the other side so I can just flip it over and then I can match it by sliding it back or forth. Once I get that setting then I go to the gap in between the two electrodes and that one needs to be uh, let's see 530 seconds So that's one, two, three, four, five. We're very, very close right there. Okay, so once I get the gap set to 530 seconds, then I'm going to look from the very center of the nozzle up to the electrodes. And I'm just going to verify what they are. It needs to be 5 sixteenths above the center. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. It's just a smidge high. So I need to move them down just a little bit. And because of the gap, because I have to move it down, now the gap gets bigger. So because of that, I need to use my electrode bender tool. The way I use this is I stick this right underneath, like right onto the electrode. It's kind of hard to show you because I got to use my hands here and I'm um, trying to show you and bend it at the same time. So I might just tweak it down here. You can probably still see. So I set this on here like that and get the other one on and then I just bend it apart just a little. I don't need to make a big adjustment and I do both sides the same. Okay, now I start over. First setting I want to do is the in front of the nozzle. Got to be 1 16th. So I just set one and I'll match the other one to it. This is going to be right there. So I flip it over. You see how they're uneven? Then I just match it. Okay. Then I'm going to get the gap. The gap is perfect. 530 seconds. So now I need to get from the center hole up to where the electrodes start. And that needs to be 5 sixteenths. 1, 2, 3, 4. This needs to go a little bit higher. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, there. Then I can match the other one to it. And you see that little adjustment that I made bending the electrodes um, was actually a little too much. Now you see the gap is um, much closer than where we need it to be. It's not the minimum, it's only 4 30 seconds, and we need to be at least 5 30 seconds. It'll make a difference on how well the spark jumps across the electrode tips. If they're not, if the gap is not big enough, it won't make a big enough spark and then it won't ignite the fuel. So back to square one again. Just got to bend it open just a smidge. You got to be very careful just to bend it a little bit. So this time I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to bend them closer together. And I'm just going to tweak it just a smidge. And we start over again. First thing I want to do is get in front of the electrode to the nozzle. Okay. 
Okay. That's the other side. Okay, now I want the gap. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So that is how you adjust electrodes. And then before you bump it on anything, make sure you snug this nut back up. Now, and then you verify it again. Look at it, make sure it's exactly where you left it. One's not tweaked. And then electrodes are set. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And um, please stay tuned to more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And smash the like button if you like it.